I am just going to do a very, very quick um, mini tutorial on printing from Affinity Photo. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because I wanted a video like this when I was looking on how to <laughs> print well from Affinity Photo because I wanted to give up my uh, subscription to Photoshop. Um, but the only thing that was stopping me was I couldn't get the same um, effects from printing or the same results from printing rather um, using Affinity Photo and this was because I was assigning my ICC profiles in the wrong place um, but I couldn't find how to do this without going through their forums and somebody brilliant helped me and we got to the bottom of it eventually so I'm going to show you guys um, how to get the same results basically as I was getting with Photoshop without having to have a colour um, calibration on your screen or anything like that. So to start with you want to go to document and assign ICC profile. And you've got endless profiles here and what I was doing before is assigning um, the paper profile here and this is wrong. This was not the right place to do it. I didn't know that. Um, so yeah I, I was doing that there but what you want is this. This is the profile you want it to be set at if you're printing at home. I've got an Epsom uh, Sure Colour P600 and you want your ICC profile for the, for the file you're going to print to be sRGB IEC 61966-2.1. Set that there, click assign, I don't have to do that because it's already assigned to that for me, uh, and then go to command and print or I expect it would be oh, I can't even remember what it was with, with uh, <laughs> I can't remember what it was with PC anyway when you want when you tell your computer to print you've got your little print um, dialog box that comes up I've got my printer chosen there I've got my preset chosen there for the right um, paper paper size chosen range and scale this is the bit that I hadn't realised I had to change, this is where you're going to change the ICC profile for the paper you're using. Um, so you click on range and scale, go to colour matching and make sure it's clicked on um, colour sync because if you clicked on Epson obviously that is then letting your printer manage the colours, the colour sync is letting this manage the colours. Profile, you go to other profiles and then you pick the ICC profile for the paper that you want and then you print. I'm not going to print this because I don't need to print it right now. Um, so yeah, that is how you do it. It's it's so simple. I don't know how it's taken me so long. It took me a long time to get through, you know, find someone who could explain what I was doing wrong. Um, so that's it really. I hope it helps for those of you who haven't uh, haven't been able to find this out. You probably have and it's just me but you know just in case there's someone out there. Um, I hope that that helps and that is it. Goodbye!